competitive business environment, it's more important than ever to be able to provide an exceptional customer experience. And what does that mean? Well, it used to mean that you simply had to be polite, responsive, efficient, and fast. And today's customers expect all of that, but also more. They expect you to recognize them as the individuals that they are and to put the welcome mat out for them. And why is this important? Because it's the one thing that's totally in your control. You can't control the stock market. You can't control the economy. You can't control necessarily even the cost of goods and labor. But the one thing that's totally in your control all the time as a business owner is the customer experience. So the best and most forward thinking businesses are taking a more customized approach and watching their sales and profits grow. Let me give you an example. Macy's, a nationwide retailer serving millions of customers all over the country, takes a customized approach by region. In the Pacific Northwest, where there's a significant Asian population, Macy's stocks more small-sized clothing that is more flattering on smaller frames. In Salt Lake City, where there's a large Mormon population, Macy's stocks more large cookware. Why? Because Mormon families often have uh, more children than the typical American household and typical American family. And so cooking for larger families means that it's going to be easier with more large cookware. And in Atlanta, where there's a large African-American population, Macy's stocks more church hats and more white clothing because African-American women often choose to wear white and wear church hats to their weekly services. These are great customized approaches to merchandising and products. But what if you're not Macy's? What if you're just a small business owner or maybe in professional services? Here's another example. I recently met a chiropractor at a conference that I was speaking at, and he told me about a situation that he, I thought he handled beautifully. He's in Florida, and he has a significant part of his customer base, patient base, that's retirees. These retirees have a lot of time on their hands, and consequently, they often build their entire day around their doctor's appointment. It's very important for these patients to be able to socialize with their doctor and spend time with them one-on-one, -on -one, and they want to share stories about their children, grandchildren, vacations, and so on. But this presents a bit of a dilemma for the doctor who's got a tight schedule and he wants to adhere to that schedule and make sure he sees all of his patients on time. So he came up with an, a brilliant solution. He called it Donuts with the Doctor and it's on Tuesdays where he blocks two hours and he doesn't see any patients from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. This time is set aside just for socializing with patients. And anyone who wants to can just drop by and have donuts and coffee with the doctor complimentary and he spends time with them talking about non-medical issues. It's a win-win for everybody. For the patient who wants to spend time with him, they get another chance to come back and see the doctor and spend time socializing. And for him, the physician, it gave him a diplomatic way to handle this particular request from customers and patients. These are just two examples. In my book, Crafting the Customer Experience for People Not Like You, I outline hundreds more, hundreds of examples that will show you how you can provide an exceptional customer experience for all of your customers, no matter how different they are from you. Mm -hmm.